What up tonight? We're at the Drake Hotel. A legend of Canadian hip hop is dropping a book, which is a piece of literature that we can all learn from. You know, stick to your vision. I've heard him do all the interviews. I know what he's talking about, and it's it's really beautiful that he's sharing his wisdom with everyone through this book. He's trying to get it in, in uh, curriculums uh, as part of a curriculum across Canada. I fully endorse that and encourage that. I can't wait to read the book, but from what I've heard from him, it's going to be beautiful. Yo, it's so my brother, Jolio, Ice Dog, you know what it is, Two Rules. Ever since we did that song, Stick to Your Vision, it's been gold, and you always stuck to your vision. It's great to see you come from someone that was like pretty much the first rapper to open up the city here, and then to move on to bigger things like writing scripts and acting and stuff like that. Congratulations. Maestro Fresh West is one of my original idols and heroes in hip hop of all time. Made me believe that I could do it. I'm from Toronto, proud, born and raised. I used to spend verses with Maestro on Young Street. We used to cipher back and forth and just blow each other's minds. Maestro's always been one of my heroes. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Wesley Williams. It's, uh, it's been a long time. I've been listening to your records since I was a radio show DJ in the metropolis, Kingston, Ontario. Congratulations. Manifesto is glad to support this. Maestro coming to a stage near you. So. It's a world full of savages, parasites, blood suckers, and leaders. I'm crying freedom, the demon, they blaspheming. Oh, idiot, I need from semen. Somebody tell me why they won't free a me from trans. He's got him living like he's Mandela, with a bandana in a belly, in a belly, with a cancer list. All you young cats go over with a gangster is. Check this out, it's the Maestro Fresh West. We got the hip hop Canada and Tour for Africa. I've seen a lot of peaks, i seen the bitter with the sweet victory and defeat. Sometimes I fell, but a voice kept saying, son, stick to your vision, keep the composition. I've seen a lot of shame in the game, I've seen a lot of pain with the fame, I've seen a lot of highs and lows, but that's just the way life goes. So we're going to here, man, Storm from Africa TV, Hip Hop Canada. We're here with the legend himself, man, Maestro Fresh West. What's going on, man? <laughs> Thanks for having me, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop is definitely in the building, you know what I mean? My book is out right now. Stick to your vision. Before I got my man Chuck D from Public Enemy. And it was co-written by my wife, Tamara Williams. Yeah, I'm feeling great right about it. Now, speaking of Public Enemy, um, I had the chance to you know, be out uh, in uh, Woodstock, you know, yes. in, uh, in Collinwood, and I, I actually missed your, your set, but I, I got to see you like on stage with Public Enemy, you know what I'm saying? I met them in 89, man, and I toured with them, I did a couple shows with them, and Chuck was always like a big brother to me, man. I don't know anybody else can, you know, can say that certain albums change their life, but it takes, a mil it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. It was an album that changed my life, man. Like when I heard it sonically, that's what made me do what I did. It was simply in effect, it really inspired me to take it to the next, next level with that, so he's been definitely been an inspiration. How you doing? Right. It's cool, it's cool, bro. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely been an inspiration to me. And just keep him moving forth and forward. So 21 years later, you know what I mean? Open up for him actually have have an opportunity to introduce him. It was big because Chuck, he, he wrote the intro to my book. Now I got a chance to introduce public enemy on stage. It's a blessing for me, you know what I mean? So I'm so emotional. I'm trying not to get emotional either because there's so many memories that um that you can say. Chuck! Um, just Maestro, 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 now known as Wes Williams. How do you say, how do you count the ways? There was no industry, it was just you and I. We were just, you were my radio, you were my video. We came in, we're talking about things from the street, and you came in with that hit single and showed us how to do it and get on the radio. And it was like, wait a minute, let's go on. Maestro and Michi were out of town. We're like, who's going on first? All right, I'm peeking out the back just to see Maestro play. Just like, okay, we're going to get a shot. I lived in the West End. I had dancers from the Scarborough. He lived in Scarborough. He had dancers from the West End. So we really knew how to use a machine, and we were the machine. And I couldn't have done it without you, without 
you are my my artist that you see do it and keep doing it and then you have to follow that pattern again because I wanted to be like the guys I wanted to be out there and have that recognition like the fellas and you were my fellow that I wanted to get recognition like and be like so when I say Truly, 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 I am so inspired and happy for you because this is a new journey for you. Even when I seen you, I got to speak to you two seconds in LA and that was just like, oh my God, if there's anyone you want to speak to while you pass by LA, I've been there like 18 years, would be you. And you made me feel so comfortable just in a hotel. And you were telling me about your newborn and you were so, you're such a good place and then you're so happy and married. Even when you left Toronto and went to Vancouver, it was such a, such a change and it was such a journey and I always listen to your moments. And you've just been such an inspiration, not afraid to leave, not afraid to leave Toronto and go to New York and all this boy's not in Canada. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The microphone, like a push of the rosary, Jehovah be the shadow of clouds of old. So I recollect, remember Kid Capri, I'll be your last, play my joint when I hurt, protect your neck, back in 92. But let's go back to 88, Clementon, Don Mills and Eglinton, make it reason as a gentleman. Remember when these labels were feeling me, next gave chains of scenery, uh -huh. gave birth to your energy, to an iced tea, public enemy, much gave me love, you niggas had to envy me. Couldn't stand to see your brother shout, player haters always working over time. Stick to your vision, read the composition. See a lot of shame in the game. See a lot of pain with the fame. See a lot of highs and lows, but you know, just the way life goes. Yeah. One thing that you've always been like recognized for is like you always like work with new artists. You're always like putting cats on and stuff like that. So like, what, what, why was that important for you? Cause I'm only one man, son. Is that the best one? You know what I mean? I mean, my first album did pretty well. Did no, sorry, my first album did extremely well, but. It didn't really create an industry, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why the second album, I had like K-Force on that, Thrust on that, um, some more Denny from Love Inc., Carlos Morgan, I try to get the community involved because I know it's just not just me, man, to make it happen, so it's really important. Yeah. So now we're here at, at the, uh, the book release, man, Stick to Your Vision. Yeah. Um, why don't you talk about, I guess, like, some of the, the, the influences? I mean, I got a lot of influences, man. I mean, you saw... Who I wrote about. Big up to Drake, big up, big up to like Cardinal. I mean, the list goes on and on. The list goes on and on. So, in terms of people I'm inspired by, older than me, younger than me, and you know, different walks of life, because I take inspiration from where I, I take it from, anywhere I can. So, you know, a lot of people, Quincy Jones, my idol. You read the book. I mean, I dedicate a page to Cardinal, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I dedicate a page to Russell. Russell Peters, man. A dedicated page to Steve Nash, man. People to Lennox, to not Lennox Lewis, that's my man. But I'm talking about like Donovan Bailey, man. Mm -hmm. I kept it going on because I'm inspired by so many, I'm inspired by my community. Okay. You feel me? And I know a lot of people told me I inspired them too. And that's why we got to stick to your vision. When I say vision, vision is a forward moving, motivating intention. So we gotta keep moving forward or the vision dies. You know what I'm saying? If we stay still and move, there'd be no vision, man. We'd be complacent. You know what I mean? Still, we got no industry here, but we, we definitely got a community here. We definitely got a community here. You know, I'm, I'm proud to be born and raised in Toronto. And you know, be a part of this. Who knows this song? Who knows this song?
talk about some of the, the, the acting, man. What's like the latest projects you've been, you've been working on? The latest projects. Hey, what's up, Queen? The, the latest projects. Um, wow, man. I mean, I, I was in Hollywood. I, I shot a little pilot. I was blessed. You know, my first audition. I, I, I put my first audition out the gate. You know what I mean? So I ain't Denzel yet, but I'm trying to do my thing. So we're gonna keep it moving, though. We're gonna keep it moving. No matter what, hip hop is always the foundation. No matter what, hip hop is always, you know, the catalyst, the launching pad for me. Hey man, so you, you got any uh, the last, last comments, man? And, and anything any else you want to want to shout out? Or? Stitch your vision in the stores right now. Um, I thank everybody for, for, for coming out and um, support me because it's really important because. I came out 21 years ago. That's almost a quarter of a century. You know what I'm saying? So we don't make records, we make history. And in Toronto, there's history in the hood. You know? A lot of people label me the godfather of Canadian hip hop. To me, I'm a student of hip hop, man. I'm a student of Socrates. I'm a student of Ghetto Concept. Definitely a student of Infinite. A student of Drake. A student of everybody that comes out of here because the best teachers, the best students, man. We all learn from each other. That's why MCs in, in, in Toronto, we got ill. Because we're the best students. That's why when we go out across the world, we can teach people about us, about our, our version of hip hop, and we do what we do. Stick TV is the book is in chapters, polls in the go. But before that, it's right over there, too. Right here, it means a lot to me. Everybody come now. Where we from? Where we at right now? Where we at right now? Toronto, love you. God bless the child of Maestro Fresh West. On behalf of my wife, McClellan and Stewart, everybody who helped us out with the book, thank you for having us. The Drake, everybody, we love y'all. God bless. Thank you. We're going to keep partying.